Snapshot 23w51a is here, the first snapshot for Minecraft 1.20.5, with a first look at the Armadillo, the winner of the mob vote at the latest Minecraft Live. And then, that was quickly followed by Snapshot 23w51b. My name is Sly Slime, and I'm here to show you all the news from these snapshots. The Armadillo is a new mob coming to Minecraft 1.20.5. It is a passive mob with 12 health that is 6 hearts. It spawns naturally in the savanna, savanna plateau and the windswept savanna biomes with the same frequency as chickens and pigs. They can be tempted and bred using spider eyes and breeding them now grants the the parrots and the bats advancement and is now required to get the 2x2 two two advancement. Killing an armadillo gives no loot. Armadillos will roll up into a ball when they feel threatened, like when seeing undead mobs or when a player is sprinting or riding something nearby. When rolled up, they do not move or eat, and cannot be tempted. After 3 seconds of not seeing any threats, they'll unroll. Armadillos will not roll up if they are already fleeing, are in the air or in water, or when on a leash. Armadillos will drop armadillo scutes periodically at around the same rate as chickens lay eggs. Brushing an armadillo with a brush will also cause it to drop an armadillo scute, which takes a good chunk of durability out of the brush. A newly crafted brush will last for 4 scutes worth of brushing. This brushing can also be done using a dispenser. Crafting 6 of these scutes together in a harness shape will give you a wolf armor. The armor can then be placed on a pet doggo by the owner by interacting while holding the item. To take it back off, interact while holding shears. Since this can only be done by the owner of the pet, dispensers cannot equip or remove the wolf armor. The wolf armor gives the same level of protection as diamond horse armor. If you fail at protecting your doggo, the armor drops when doggo dies. There are also updates to another new mob the experimental breeze mob in the update 1.21 experiment. As a reminder, this mob only exists if you enable that experiment when creating the world. The eyes of a breeze now have the correct transparency and can be used with resource packs. A glow outline applied to a breeze now correctly applies to its eyes and eyebrows. The shadow of a breeze is now the correct size and a breeze on a non-full block will now show the right particles. The AI of the breeze has had several fixes, including to them sometimes getting the zoomies after jumping, and it sometimes going entirely wrong in open terrain. The breeze now also deals better with being attacked. In news for the experimental blocks and items, copper blocks in trial chambers now appear in waxed form, and the subtitle for the sound of a trial spawner spawning a mob is now more explicit. The click to toggle tooltip in the crafter user interface is no longer visible for players in spectator mode and opening or closing a copper door while holding an axe or honeycomb no longer grants you an advancement. In other gameplay news, scutes have been renamed to turtle scutes. A bug has been fixed that would cause durability to change when equipping armor directly from the hotbar in the creative mode. Wearing a helmet now reduces the damage from getting hit by falling blocks by the appropriate amount. Llama Spit and Shocker Bullets have gone back to not damaging armor stands, and the maps no longer break in weird ways when renamed copies are held by other players. In visual news, Bone Meal now shows particles in the right place when used on mangrove leaves, rooted dirt and glowberries. When using a spyglass, the nether portal overlay and freezing overlays now show transparency properly. In user interface news, some spaces have been fixed in the debug screen. Negative durability no longer causes broken item rendering. Text now renders in the right order. Previously, a multitude of places would be wrong, like title text rendering in front of the scoreboard and the player list, boss bars rendering in front of the narrator toasts, hotbar text rendering above subtitle backgrounds, and more. And when opening the chat while the user interface is disabled, you'll now see old chat messages. There's no longer an extra black pixel on the border of the potion effect interface in the small mode. In sound news, there are new sounds for the armadillo. Idle sounds. <coughs> Brushing and the dropping scutes. Walking. Rolling up. Landing. Unrolling. Hurting. And dying. There's a new sound for equipping wolf armor. 
and for unequipping it. And the breeze has new sounds for deflecting projectiles. A new whirl idle sound. A new charge attack sound and some of the existing breeze sounds have also been tweaked. Here's a sample fight. Respawn anchors now have their ambient sound. In addition, this version includes some performance optimizations and stability fixes, including the one fixed in the follow-up 23W51B, which fixes a crash that was present in 23W51A. It also includes some news for mapmakers and packmakers like new attributes for scale, step height and reach, which I'll be detailing in another video coming up shortly here on the channel. So if you're interested in technical news, keep an eye out for that. Until then, I have been Slime. thank you for watching.